Hello and welcome to an episode of Advanced GIS. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GIS workflows and how to use Python programming and model builder to create reproducible workflows in ArcGIS Pro. I now have an outlet defined. I want to figure out what watershed is associated with this outlet. The next step in watershed delineation is called finding the pore point. Now it's time to create our pore point. The spatial tool is called snap pore point. We want to snap a pore point to the cell of highest flow accumulation within a specified distance. Let's take a look here. We can see individual pixels in the flow accumulation data set and the point where my outlet is located. We want to assign a pixel associated with this point. So I pick my input raster or feature point data, which will be my outlet point. Note that you can have multiple points to do multiple delineations at the same time. Right now, my point feature is a single feature. The input flow accumulation raster and an output raster, which will save the point, the pixel of snapping to my flow accumulation grid. We see that the snap distance defined here is the minimum distance in map units to search for a cell with highest accumulation flow. Let's see how this is done in Python. My first snap distance will be 50 units. So my output name is going to be Napapore 50. And I'm going to save that raster data set to my project folder as Napa Poor 50. My Napa Poor 50 will be in ArcPy Spatial Analyst Tools, the Snap Poor Point. It asks us for the input geographic feature, which we have defined as Outlet UTM. That is the coordinate reference system for our one point for our outlet. It then asks for a flow accumulation raster, which we called Napa FAC. It then asks you for a snapping distance, which I'm going to define as 50 units. It then asks you for which is the appropriate attribute for your poor point field. And I'm going to use ID. Run the tool. Notice that we get a pixel green located here, which is downstream of our current point. Downstream means that this has a higher flow accumulation. As we go downstream, higher flow accumulation. What happens if I changed my snapper point distance to a different value? Let's try a P75. Napa poor 75. All 
right? And now my Napa Core 75 will be ArcPy Spatial Analyst Tools, Snap to Pour Point, same outlet point, same flow accumulation layer, and this time 75 units, and my index is ID. Do you expect the next pour point to be closer or farther away using 75 as my search distance? Let's run the tool and find out. We see that it is farther away. Basically, the snap distance is a circle of search distance to say where in this search distance is there a pixel with flow, highest flow accumulation. This happened to be within the 50 unit distance. This happened to be within 50 units. You may have to try a number of different snap distances to make sure your pore point snaps to a pixel with the highest flow accumulation based on your flow accumulation lightning bolt shape. Make sure it hits a white pixel. I like my 50 units. I'm going to keep that. Now that I have flow direction, a pore point, I can delineate the watershed. 